Hi YouTube, Envious Customs here. Today I'm going to show you my new tool, my SRS Diagnostic Tool, which is suitable for VT, VX, VY and VZ Holden Commodores. It will allow you to read the fault codes, history and current, as well as allowing you to clear them, as long as you've removed the current faults, which I'll show you in this tutorial. It also allows you to see some information as in the module details, part number, VAT process, VIN, and also system details being if it's the dry or the airbag setup, uh, battery voltage, if the SRS lamp has been uh, turned on, capacitance values, or even uh, re uh, resistance values. Uh, well, let's go ahead and connect. So, I'll turn my ignition off. So this device does need the ignition on, and it will acknowledge. So, just select your COM port, your vehicle, click connect. So, it's going to fail on ignition status as my ignition is off, as you can see. Alright, let's turn my ignition back on. You should hear the SRS chime just after my low fuel warning, so I haven't filled up just today. There's low fuel, and there's the SRS chime. Okay, so now we, I do have a current fault. My passenger pretensioner is pulled, as well as the side airbag. So those should be the faults you're expecting in current and uh, fault readings. So now, let's go ahead and connect up. We are now successfully connected. Great. So module details gives us a few little bit of details about the actual SRS module. This is the stuff that's programmed into it. Part number, production date, when it was made. Also the VIN number that's in it. So now system details gives you a bit more detail. Details on the resistance, capacitance and also your setup. So let's go ahead and read that. Cool. Now we can see my SRS lamp is on. Alright, so that means I've got a problem. As I have a current fault, you can, you can clearly identify where it is. So my left hand pretensioner. You can see 12.1 ohms is much higher than all the other uh, all the others. And left hand side airbag loop resistance 12.1, much higher. It gives you an indication there's a short somewhere. Very high resistance values, and also having a look here, very high capacitance values. Oh, that one's low. Does that look that right? No, here that one's low. All right, so now let's go have a look at our faults. So let's read our current faults. We should have two. Oh, there we go. Left hand pretensioner circuit resistance too high and left hand side airbag resistance too high. So those are our two faults. So we should have two history faults as well. There we go. Same thing. They're stored in our history. So now I'm just going to go ahead and plug these in the pretensioner cables back into the seat and we should get rid of our, fault, our current fault codes. Okay, I've now plugged those back in, so we should, if I do a, a current read, we should have no fault codes stored. There you go, I got rid of the current fault, too easy. So now, let's have a look at our history, we should still have it in our history, yep yeah, we do. And this still means the SRS airbag fault will still pop up on the dash and it will still be acknowledged until it is cleared. So now let's go ahead and clear it, clear faults, make sure the ignition is on. It is on, click OK, turn ignition back off and on, press OK, and that should be it. And all I'll get is my low fuel chime now, if you can hear this. Yep, low fuel chime, and no SRS uh, annoying code going off. So just to confirm that we got rid of it, let's do current read, no faults, and history read. No faults. Alright, that's that. Simple as that to clear a fault code. No more Tech 2, no more Holden or expensive mechanics. You can do it all yourself using an AODO cable and it's provided software. So now let's have a look at our raw logging. So let's just click enable. What this is, this is actually the AODO communication that's occurring over your car. Looks like complete mumbo jumbo, um, but this is all important information uh, includes telling you telling what the speed is rpms uh, status of various uh, things the current gear that's in uh, just to show since I you can see these values going up so these are the frames that have been sent constantly if I change from park to in reverse you can see how it changes as it's now signifying to the car that I'm now in reverse and back to park this should start increasing again see shows that park is now going uh, this is just really good to see if uh, you have communication occurring, that the cable is actually connected up correctly, although the setup should have identified that from the beginning. But it allows you to investigate a little bit further if you want to have a look. So say I want to check the heartbeat, 08. 
that's the heartbeat. That means the BCM is working nicely. Let's see if uh, my ignition is on. Let's do 41. Oh, there we go. There's my ignition. That means ignition is on. 41. I'll turn my ignition off. No more codes. Turn it back on. Code start up again. Um, that's about it. That covers the SRS diagnostic tool. If you have any questions, feel free to post below or send me a link and visit my website. Happy to uh, answer any questions you may have or if you have any ideas to add to this. Uh, thank you for watching.